Welcome to Championship Friday, where tonight the 9-1 Southeast Falcons take on the 9-0 Dudley Panthers. And the winner of this game will go away as the undisputed Metro 4A champion. And you can see all the highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries. Welcome to Friday Night Robberies, folks. I'm Walter Johnson. I'm your host for the evening. And tonight, we have a game of magnanimous proportions, a game that could affect the standings all over the county. If Southeast wins, they split the championship with Dudley. If Southeast loses and Grimsley wins, guess what? They have a three-way tie for second. It's, this game is for all the marbles. And Southeast comes in with a powerful offense powered by their run game. They're averaging 346 yards a game rushing, and they're powered by Shakir Turner, who has 1,314 yards rushing and 24 touchdowns. Also, they'll get a shot in the arm tonight as C.J. McFay, their second leading rusher, comes back after a three-game absence due to injury. He has 734 yards rushing and seven touchdowns. In the games that he plays, he averages 106 yards rushing, and that'll be key for the Southeast Falcons. Also, their quarterback, has done a wonderful job booing their offense this year. Bubba Craven, a 6'2", 205-pound junior, he's thrown for 543 yards. He's passed for 286 yards. But, folks, he is just a game manager. He's a guy that gets it done. So, Southeast, powerful offense. Conversely, Dutley, powerful defense. They're giving up less than 10 points a game. They've held six opponents to under 120 yards total offense. They're led by Chris Register. They're led by Tone Majak. They're led by Khalil Vance. These guys hit and run all over the field. And guess what? They're not too bad offensively. On the offensive side, Emmanuel Mosley, the Tennessee signee, has over 900 yards rushing. He has 900 yards passing. Then they have a triumvirate of running backs. They have Darius Graves. They have Lamarck. Uh, Wat Watlington, excuse me, and they have Cornell Young. Combined, these three guys have over 2,200 yards rushing and 22 touchdowns. This game is going to be a war. Both teams like to run it, but Dudley can pass. This game is going to come down to can Southeast break Dudley's defense. Early on, I think Southeast will gain some yards, but as Dudley figures out what they're doing and how this wing tee works, look for Steve Davis and the Dudley Panthers to That's take control out. late. Folks, this is going to be a great game. And you can check out all the first half highlights right here on Friday Night Rivals. Number 12. Oh, 
gold. By number 35, it's good! Number five, Paul the carry. now stands deadly 12 southeast three Number 
28 on the carry. Twenty-eight on the carry. Good for a Panther touchdown. Touchback. Falcons will start this drive from their own twenty. Number four on the carry for the... Twenty-one on the carry. Welcome to halftime, folks. I'm Walter Johnson, and at halftime, it's Dudley, 28, Southeast 3, and it's been all Dudley High School in the first half. Darius Graves has a touchdown receiving and a touchdown rushing. Uh, Emmanuel Mosley has a touchdown running and a touchdown passing, and Cornell Young has a touchdown receiving for Dudley, and they have turned the ball over, or called Southeast, rather, to turn the ball over twice so far. Once on downs and once by fumble, and that's been the key to this football game. Dudley's defense has shut out the Southeast Falcon running game so far in the first half. So at halftime, it's Dudley 28, Southeast 3. We'll be back for more highlights from the second half right here on Friday Night Rivalries. Cornell stands, Panthers 36, Falcons 3. Douglas got the ball. 
they're running the same play. Oh. Number 28 on the carry. Number two, C.J. McStay on the carry. And that's good for a Falcon touchdown! to the post-game show, folks. I'm Walter Johnson. I'm with the victorious Dudley Panthers. They were victorious tonight in the end of their season, undefeated, beating Southeast 42 to 11. I'm first flanked by Lamar Wallington and Darius Graves. Guys, you guys did a great job tonight. Lamar, 13 carries, 112 yards. 
Talk to us about what this game means, going 10-0 and getting ready for the playoffs. Man, it's great, man. We've been preparing all week, no, all year, since February. We're trying to uh, do big things this year. We're trying to be state champs. And late in the ball game, when you all needed to run the clock out, you busted out with a big 45-yard run. Tell us what the play was and what did you see on that? Well, it was a 65 zone. 65. I seen the hole open up, my line block good. I bounced it to the outside and tried to eat up the sideline. Now, you all kind of got an easy victory, at least on the scoreboard against Southeast. Was this something that you expected, or were you looking for a tougher ball game? Well, I mean, we preparing, we've been preparing hard all week, man. It, we kind of expected this. Like, we knew it was going to be a fight, but we knew it was going to be a good game. And Darius, I mean, a huge game tonight. Not, not crazy numbers. You know, 52 yards rushing, 41 yards receiving, but four times in the box tonight. You know, you're, the, you're that guy that all he does is scores touchdowns. Talk to us about uh, your performance tonight. Well, I think I, pre I prepared pretty good this week, man. And um, just coming out, working hard every day after school, just it's just a blessing, you know. I, pray, I did pretty good this week, man. I'm proud of myself. Well, we've seen you score quite a few times this year on a little, uh, I guess it's the check down route out the yeah, backfield. Yeah, yes, Talk to us. What is that route, man, and how do you get so wide open on it? Well, what it's called, it's called 28 Special. And then what you do, you fake 28. That outside man's never going to look at the uh, block and running back, so you just hit it up the sideline, and the man's wide open. Well, folks, you're looking at our spare time event center, most valuable player of the game, Mr. Darius Graves. And Darius, you can vote for him later on in the, in the year for uh, player of the year on TENWebTV.com. So number 28, running 28 special, scored twice tonight off the pass and twice on the run, Darius Graves. We'll be back with our Red Family Dentistry play of the game. Welcome back to the post game show, folks. I'm with Coach Steve Davis. Coach, 10 and 0, uh, and it seems like every week somebody else new gets it done for you. Talk to us about the depth that you got on this football team. Well, coming into the season, we knew we had great depth at running backs. We, uh, I said, we got five who could start for us. But uh, the guys who are getting their turn and you know get their chance, they're doing great things, and that's keeping the other guys on the bench, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Now, you're the offensive coordinator this year, but I know your love is defense. And your guys are out there flying around, 11 hats to the ball every play. Up until the last drive, only gave up three points for the whole game. How do you feel going into the playoffs now, new season, with the kind of defense you all are playing? Well, I feel great. Anytime you know your defense can uh, keep you in the game, you got a chance to win. And that's what our defense has been doing all year. And I think those guys, they're really, really taking pride in practice on not letting people score on them. And, you know, we didn't think we'd shut these guys out because they got a great team. You know, we watched them on tape and seen what they've been doing throughout the year. But coming here on their home field and do the, doing the way we did speaks volumes. And what did you see, Coach? You know, they run their wing tee, which is tough to figure out because they have good ball fakes, good ball movement. How did you all prepare to stop that and, and get it done in, in the way you did tonight? The thing about the wing tee, each person has got an assignment. And if each person does their assignment, and of course, you know, you got to have some horses in there. Uh, if, but if each person do their assignment, you can slow it down. Not to really stop it, but you can slow it down. Right. Well, you, Coach Steve Davis, of course, 10 and 0. Congratulations this year. We look for big things coming out of the playoffs. Folks, check us out next week on Friday Night Rivalry.